So akwa mumai hini wadene hon kwafu akutu the third. Had his akwa si dai kesi 2023 fan raising cocktail and dinner dance at the Royal Sinchi Resort. And something spectacular happened. This is Rona360. If today is your first time, kindly click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time we post a new video. Also, please subscribe to support the channel. We talk about arts, culture, we showcase and promote arts and culture and TV education. So if you're ready for what happened at the Royal Sinchi Resort, let's go. You know, Ordinu Kwafu Akuto the third is the Akwemumahine. In Ghana, the Akwemus are a known historic giant in chieftaincy and religious affairs in Ghana. Oh yes, if you are not from Ghana, the Akwemus have led wars, have conquered nations, and have done a lot in terms of religion in terms of culture in terms of chieftaincy the aquamus were described by the british as bullies in the then gold coast they were also described by the danes as thieves they were described by the dutch as warriors so i mean this is to just give you a, 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 a little preview of who the aquamus are they ruled the entire southern part of Ghana. And the current Akwemu Mahine is the 29th king of the Akwemu Empire. Yes, about 300 years ago, they ruled the southern part of Ghana. And the current Akwemu Mahine is Odenoho Kwafu Akutu III. You know, during the Akwesidai Kesie, this year's Akwesidai Kesie, he had a fundraising cocktail and dinner dance at the beautiful royal sinchi resort and something prominent happened you see every chief or every king has a mandate and in the very words of Odenohu himself this is what he said it is a fact that my predecessors fought and built a great empire once upon a time as the current akwemuhine i wish to follow their examples However, the only war I want to declare on behalf of my people is the war against illiteracy. The weapon against poverty must be fought with the mind and heart. In the words of Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. These are the beautiful words of the Akomohine. And I'm very happy with the part that he said, the war I want to declare. Because Aquamus are known for declaring wars in the ancient days. And they never lost their wars. They were victorious and they were, they were warlike. And they were a force to really reckon with. So this current Aquamuhine is saying that we are not in the medieval ages where uh, uh, a kingdom will declare war on another state and we will kill each other. In this 21st century, the war we are declaring is not against our fellow human beings. It is against ideologies and principles. And one of the things that Odenoho Kwafu Akoto III is declaring war on is on illiteracy. Because education is such a powerful weapon that can help develop a nation, that can de develop his people. So let me continue what he said again. We observed with grave concern the dilution, erosion, and even rejection of our values, customs, and traditions by some of our young people who are often attracted by the influence of other cultures. With education, we can revise this trend and return to our and return to our young people with a strong sense of their cultural identity, pride, and heritage. This, I believe will encourage a culture of development, mindedness, and the outcome of producing 
technological advancement in all areas through sound innovation fueled by patriotic pride. And these are such heartwarming, heart soothing words. Indeed, for any kingdom to survive in the future, the young people must be educated to understand the very culture, the very traditions, the very everyday things that the chiefs and people do so that they will embrace it and see it as their own. Other than that, they will throw it away and then embrace another culture. And I believe th this is not the only cry of Odenoho. This is also the cry of Rona 360. That is why this channel has been set up to showcase and promote the arts, culture, and TV. You know, so, you know, the reason why these three go in hand, the reason why these three go in hand is that majority of Africa's arts have cultural roots. Talk of the Edinkra, talk of the the dance forms, talk of the, the craft forms, the, the, the carving, all these things have cultural roots. So if we lose our cultural values, it goes a, a long way to erode the very arts that are associated with, with them. Just imagine people not liking the traditional way of marrying. If we get a generation that does not like our customary marriage and we want to throw it away and embrace the white man's way of marrying, which we call the white wedding, it simply means that cloth motives beads even seamstress who are employed to even sew these customary dresses will not get any work to do artisans that are associated in this industry will find themselves unemployed because the white man's wedding comes with the white man's dress that can be imported or bought from china that is the reason why it is very important for anybody who loves the arts and culture to add his math or take a stand to educate the young people on the need to preserve our culture and our arts because that is who we are and i'm very happy Odenoho Kwafo Akoto that Kwemuhine a warrior by all by all spheres has declared war on such a very important education educating the young people to understand their cultural identity and through that they can become you know Innovative. China has become innovative through their culture. India has become innovative through their, their culture. Majority of the products we know, their names are not English names. Their, their names are names of their people. Names that have their language in it. Samsung, Yamaha, Toshiba, uh, Suzuki, Dehu, all these are not English words. These are words or terms that originate or that has a link with the mother tongue of the people who produce them. So if our people can embrace their culture and they can use that as a stepping stone to be innovative and creative, which will bring a sense of pride and patriotism, our culture will be preserved. Long live the king. Nana piao, nana unkaso. Odenohon kwafo, akoto. Kaka utubiam. Nana, long live the king. We we support your 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 war hundred percent, and we will do everything in our own small way to support this worthy cause. This is what we have for you for Rona three sixty today. Uh, type in the comments section. Share this our video. Uh, let the conversation continue. And as usual. We can't end by reminding you that if you know someone who is into drugs, help the person and educate the person and sensitize the person to stay away from the use of harmful drugs. Because if you use and abuse drugs, it will also use you to your detriment and abuse you. Bye-bye. God be with you.